I think everybody sitting at home wants the answer to the same question. Did you murder your wife? No, no. I did not. And I had absolutely nothing to do with her disappearance. And, and you use the word murder, and yeah, I mean, that is a, a possibility. Um, it's not one we're ready to accept, and it creeps in my mind late at night and early in the morning. And during the day, all we can think about is the right resolution is to find her well. But as you know, increasingly, in the public, suspicion has turned on you. Yes, definitely. Did you ever hit her? Did you ever injure her? No, no. My God, no. Um, violence towards women is unapproachable. It is the most disgusting act to me. Um, and I know that uh, suspicion has turned to me. And it's, um, it's turned to me, one, because I'm her husband. And that's a natural thing. And I've heard all the statistics on all the news shows about that being, you know, someone that uh, a husband, ex-husband, a boyfriend, that is statistically the one who would be responsible for her disappearance. And, um, I'm sorry, I forgot your question. <laughs> Did you ever hit her? Did you no, ever injure her? No, no, never. Um, I, was, I was answered your question because of the suspicion that it's been turned to me. And it turned to me because of the inappropriate romantic um, uh, that I had with Amber Fry. Then. Amber Fry went public about the romance after seeing all the stories about Lacey Peterson's okay, disappearance. All, I met Scott Peterson November 20th, 2002. I was introduced to him. I was told he was unmarried. Amber Fry came forward. I'm glad she did. You are? Definitely. Why? It's the appropriate thing to do. And it really shows what a person of character she is. Um, and it allows us to um, get back looking for Lacey. Did you tell her that you were not married? I did. I did. Um, and then when uh, Lacey disappeared, um, I called her and admittedly it wasn't immediately. It was a couple days after Lacey's disappearance that I telephoned her and told her the truth. The and truth? That I was married, that Lacey had disappeared. She didn't know about it at that point. And then she contacted the police. You know but Scott Fry says man. she first found out about Lacey from Do the you know news, not from Scott. Were you in love with her? No. Was this the first time? Are there others out there? No. There's no one else who can come forward? No. I owe a tremendous uh, apology to, to everyone. Had you told anyone? Did you tell police? I told the police immediately. When? That was uh, the first night we were together. The, the police, I spent um, with the police. You told them from, about her? Yeah, from December 24th on. That wasn't true, and Scott Peterson called us after the interview to set the record straight. He said he never told the police about his affair with Amber Fry, but claims he did tell his wife. Yeah. Did your wife find out about it? I told my wife. When? In um, early December. Did it cause a rupture in the marriage? It was not um, a positive, obviously. It's a, a, you know, inappropriate. Um, but it was not something that we weren't um, dealing with. A lot of arguing? No, no. No, um, I, I, you know, I can't say that that even, you know, she was okay with the idea. But uh, it wasn't anything that would break us apart. There wasn't a lot of anger? No. Yeah. Do you really expect people to believe that an eight and a half month pregnant woman learns her husband has had an affair and is saintly and casual about it? Accommodating? Makes a peace with it? Well, I, yeah, I, you don't know. No one knows our relationship but us. Um, 
and that's at peace with it, not happy about it. Why did you tell her? It was the right thing. Because again, you know that people sitting at home have imagined that either you were in love with someone else, mm -hmm. therefore you decided to get rid of this entanglement, namely your wife and your child, or there was just an angry confrontation. Neither of those was the case. It's, it's that simple. He insisted all was well between him and Lacey. Tell me about the state of your marriage. Hmm. What, what kind of marriage was it? God, I mean, the first word that comes to mind is, you know, glorious. I mean, we took care of each other very well. Um, she was amazing. He is amazing. When Scott Peterson's parents and other family members joined the interview, they said their faith in his innocence never wavered, even though they were surprised about the affair. Susan, your, what's your, what was your reaction when you heard? I was very shocked, to be quite honest. Um, it's not in Scott's character. And when you hear people now, out in the country say, did he do it? What do you want to say to them? He couldn't have if... if possible. It's impossible. If he knew Scott, he, he's the gentlest soul I, I think I've ever, I've ever known. The police interviewed Scott Peterson three times, but after he got a lawyer, he did not talk to them again. His house was searched twice and more questions about his behavior began to surface. A neighbor says that the first thing that Lacey did every morning was pull open the curtains. Mm. But this morning, they were never pulled open. Yeah, they were down when I returned. Um, it's very common in the summer that she opens up the curtains. But again, you know, we're talking about a day that, I don't know what it was, probably 40 degrees that day or something. And during the winter, we don't open the curtains to keep the house warm. Nothing to that? Nothing suspicious? No, I mean, um, certainly I wish they, if, if something had happened to her in the house, I wish they'd been open so someone may have been able to stop it. But in the winter, you know, who opens their curtains for the draft? Another story that is out there is that the kitchen was spotless. Mm-hmm. And in fact, there was still a wet mop around, which indicated somebody had cleaned something very mm, recently. Lacey was mopping the floors when I left that morning. Um, yes, the house was spotless. She had a cleaning lady on uh, Monday, the 23rd. So if, if the cleaning lady had been there, why have, why have to clean again? Dog, two cats, muddy backyard. She mopped those floors every day. And I emptied the bucket when I returned that afternoon. There was one report that a neighbor had seen you loading something into a vehicle? I haven't seen that report. Did you load anything into a vehicle, or anything large? Some umbrellas, some market umbrellas. Those are those, um, you know, the umbrellas on the stands that are you know, eight feet in diameter or something like that. When did you do that? That morning. If all these actions seem suspicious, they're still circumstantial. I want to go back to a couple of other questions people have. I've heard so many people say, Christmas Eve, mm. you have a very pregnant wife, and you decide to go fishing? Mm -hmm. What does that say about the two of you? Well, um, we had plans that evening with mom, Lacey's mom, over at her house. Um, frankly, uh, Christmas preparations were, were done. What did you get her for Christmas? Oh, a Louis Vuitton wallet. Um, but preparations were made. Um, her plan for the day was to prepare gingerbread cookies. Um, my day was open to 
um, either play golf or go fishing. I chose fishing that day, which is, you know, a uh, choice I made and I obviously regret now, you know, if I could just decide to stay home. That's what would have happened. I noticed during the interview he had not yet talked about something. You haven't mentioned your son. Hmm. That was, it's so hard. Their baby boy was due on February 16th. Tell me about the nursery. Can't go in there. The door is closed until there's someone to put in there. But it's ready. Throughout the interview, he insisted he was innocent. Are you afraid police will arrest you? No. I know there is, there's no basis. I, mean, I had nothing to do with their disappearance. So there, there's no uh, you know, possible evidence or anything like that. Have they given you reason there. to think they s that you're their prime suspect? Um, yeah, I mean, with you know, hold you know, with the, the search warrants for the cars and things like that, certainly. Um, with the you know, a search warrant for the home, um, when it gets specific to a car, obviously they're they're looking at you know me.